Morning. I'm about to make ginger bug, so I'm gonna show you how to make that. I didn't really measure with the sugar because it's gonna work no matter what. It just depends what kind of beverage it's gonna make. So if you add more sugar, it'll end up more alcoholic. If you add less sugar, it'll end up more vinegary or probiotic. Um, ginger bug is down here in the cupboard and I'm gonna make some mate. Check that out. Okay, this is day three. I'm just gonna show you guys what I've been doing every day. Throughout the whole fermenting process, you're gonna start to see the ginger rise to the top, and that means that the yeast is getting activated. So that's a good sign. Basically, again, I'm not really measuring, but about uh, like a couple tablespoons of ginger and a couple tablespoons of sugar. It doesn't have to be exact, but those are good measurements to use if you want it to be. <laughs> more exact um, I tend to put about 30 grams in but I don't usually measure next you're gonna give it all a big stir once again I'm gonna go ahead and just try a little taste of this stuff this is not gonna be what the actual ginger beer is gonna taste like yeasty I guess that's eating up all the sugar I might actually add a little more sugar the lid back on. Another thing to keep in mind is that if you put it in a warm environment, it'll convert quicker into alcohol, and if it's in a colder environment, it's a more stable place for healthy bacteria. So that's another balance thing. This roast. I'm just making some rice and cabbage and beans. Good old easy meal. It's been about a week, which is longer than you need. I just like kept procrastinating making the actual ginger beer. So yeah, I left it in a few more days than you need to. It should take like three to five days, depending on climate and stuff. But it's definitely ready. So I'll move into the next steps of making the ginger beer. I'm gonna be using a recipe of three liters of water, 100 grams of ginger, 400 and 20 grams of sugar and then 175 grams of the ginger bug slightly warm to the touch. That's what I'm going to be putting this in. You can see it's pretty bubbly. Fill up the airlock if you're using one. Nice. 
you want like a pretty consistent temperature place. It's been like six days. Tastes like a little more fermented and definitely super gingery, but it's not carbonated. I think that's because of the airlock, which is good for the beginning at least because it doesn't let the flavor change too much. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and transfer this. <laughs>